Okay, <clears throat> so we have another radio here. I'm going to uh, program. This one is being. This one is to Kenwood, TK3102, 3102. Uh, this is a DOS-based programming software to do this one, and that would be the Kenwood KPG55D, KPG59D software. And the software basically looks like this. Again, it's DOS-based, and I'm running uh, Windows 7 on this computer. Um, so I'm going to read this radio and then we're going to write to this radio so you want to see how it's done stand by okay so first you what you want to do with this this DOS based program is you want to hit your alt key that will bring up your menus up here and basically what you want to do you want to read the radio so just drop and down arrows read radio now this one I gotta press in on the programming cable here to work, but we'll try anyways. And read. And of course, new. So, um, I got to try and hold in the, gotta hold in, push the programming cable toward the radio in order to get this to work. So. Uh, stand by here, I figure so. Yeah. Basically, you just push the programming cable toward the radio, and then you press retry on your ear screen, and then there you go. Now she's reading. Get a red blinking LED. And now she's at 100%. As you can see, done reading the radio data. Press any key. So, radio is only uh, two channels. Um, I already got our pre programmed with 446 flat and 443 200, again 233.6 from a crossband repeater. So, what we'll do now, we'll uh, press Alt and then we're going to go to right to radio. And now we're going to have to do the same thing again. I'm going to have to hold the radio, the programming cable toward radio again. Then I'm going to press enter and write data to the radio. OK, press enter. Now she's writing. Now she's green LED instead of red. And now she's programmed. Done writing PC data, press any key. Here we go. So that is what is programmed into our at the moment. So again, for the TK3102, you require the uh, Kenwood KPG55D software, and the programming cable I'm using is a USB cable, KPG22U. Anyways, hope that helped some of you. you can program this radio. Oh, yes. Yes. And before I go, I figured I'd go into like the key assignment, it's optional. Uh, features and stuff. So basically this file, this program will allow you to tell you what particular radio you have. In this case it's a 3102. Um, that's the radio band 450 to 470 but uh, as you can tell it is pro it is uh, transmitting on 443.2 so it's these Kenwood commercial radios can go out of band a little bit so, let's just get out of there. So, we're going to edit, key assignment, and you yeah, haven't got a lot of uh, <clears throat> features here. You got squelch off momentarily and monitor key. I'm not sure if there's anything I can actually change with this or not. But to select there you go so you just click right in your F2 and 
So monitor key, which is on the side of the radio. You can only assign it a couple little options. Momentary monitor, monitor lock, squelch off momentarily, off. That is your only options. <laughs> Not a lot. Optional features. You got a timeout timer. Uh, squelch level, beep tone, battery save, and you can select wide or narrow. And that is pretty much all you can do with a TK3102. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see if I can uh, get some more programming videos later. All the rest, 7